Okay, let's take a look at the messages for today. Let's tap in and see what is happening here with spirit. There's some kind of celebration going on here. There's some kind of a celebration. Show me, please. Wait, they want me to keep tapping into that. I just keep hearing, I can hear clearly now the rain is gone. So if someone is seeing things a lot clearer, there's a path that's, if you listen to the message yesterday, there's a path that's being removed. Okay, show me. There's, again, yeah, look. Ah. Giraffe. Okay, so we've got some kind of um, reunion, someone coming home to the self, someone could be moving. We've got partnerships, love partnerships, friendships, business partnerships. 27th of August is significant. That's my dad's birthday. Um, or was. This is about coming back to the self, coming together with the self, understanding something from a deeper perspective as well. Feeling like you're blessed is how I'm, I'm kind of hearing it. And inner strength as well. Okay, what else, please? What else, please? Change. We've got change here. And courage. Someone is getting, gaining courage to do what it is they need to do. Okay, anything else? And there's a true offering here. There's a true offering. Okay, God's cutting away everything that all that needs to go. Illusions, obsessions, addicting, addictions, it's sacrifice to love. Someone is sacrificing lower energy to something that is, you know, high vibrational here. Yeah. Okay, what else, please? Anything else? What else? this message this is about purity someone's going on their instinct here rather than how things look or seem someone is using their instinct to, to understand this they're using discernment here okay anything else yeah so it's like that they're, they're not gonna they can't go through these extremes it's like you know how if you're in this energy and you've got a lot of high vibrational energy with you and then it's like you've got this extreme shadow element, sometimes that extreme can be so severe that it has to, it's like a, a, a kind of tug of war and it kind of br had to break almost. It's like this is what happened. It's like there was there was two extremes going on and there was no balance and something had to give. And whatever it had to give, it's like there's an old path, an old timeline, something that disconnected here which is no longer around. Again, fear, could be fear, right? Could be fear that has been, someone has gained perspective high enough now to understand that they're no longer in that energy and it's like they're ready for whatever this next stage is. It's like the fear doesn't work anymore. Someone was trying to keep someone in fear. Maybe someone's shadow was, yeah, look. Someone's ego has been balanced here. Okay, we've got a lunar eclipse as well, change. So... Something has shadowed someone's emotions for too long and it's been now released. Again, we've got Leo energy here as well as um, Cancer energy. But it's like something is now finally being released. Something is now finally being released. Someone was overthinking a lot and it was they were taking, they were going in loops. There's now, uh, again, we've got Archangel Gabriel here. So... Someone is now coming out of that cycle and it's creating a shift, right? There's a light that's being shone on this now. Yeah. Show me more. Show me more here. Yeah. Someone was indecisive because there were two in their head and it was creating illusions. That's now being brought into balance. They're, they're bringing that back into balance now. It was, yeah. Yeah, it's like they're recalibrating themselves from this, whoever this is for. Okay. What else for this message, please? Anything else? What else for this message? 
someone went through a bit of a transformation where they understood it's like blind faith here and discovery it's like they've got a new foundation there's a new foundation being brought new security that's been brought in and it involves their self-worth but this was done on instinct whatever this is has been created on instinct and it's it's recalibrating an energy of balance and blessings what else please yeah it's like at one point they may not have been able to step into this energy because it was it was taking them in two different directions and that created a lot of guilt but it's like they they knew instinctively to let go of the other end of this and then it's putting them back into that energy of joy is how i want to say it yeah and it's like there was an insecurity here before where they felt isolated by this, but that's being removed. It's like there's blocks being removed here. Okay. What else, please, for this message? Anything else we need to be aware of? Yeah. So someone's come into a realisation that this self-love is what is helping to get people through this, get this energy out, to transmute the energy. And before, someone could have been projecting shadow wounds onto them. And it's being transmuted. Right, anything else for this message? Someone's come into their power, which can't be removed. Once you're in that energy, it's like someone's really come into their own here. Yeah, there's a synergy that's happened. This is somebody who's transmuted to a certain point where there's been a tipping point. So there's a lot of an energy that's being evolved and manifested and transmuted and they they they're kind of sh they've shifted into a new energy. They stepped out of their comfort zone, but because they let they've almost let someone's leveled up here, and it's it allowed them to step out of their comfort zone. Is how I want to say it. Right. Okay. Anything else? Anything else, please, Spirit? Anything else, please, for this? Anything else? Yeah, it's like there's an awareness, there's an enlightenment. Someone is focused now on their path because they're, they're aware, more aware of what it all means. They're still maintaining an innocence, but they're not... They're not it's not over like overtly kind of controlling them to the point where they're, they're they're not able to create a decision or make one and then feel comfortable it's like this person's healed enough to be able to move on it's like the old path of this darkness the shadow there was such a, a dig, massive degree of, of light and dark that something had to give because you think about it if a light and a dark is there's two polarizations then you can't continue on the same path because there's always going to be a polarization pulling you back in a different direction. This tipping point had, has happened now because there's a certain level of healing that's been reached. And so someone's ready. They're, they're, they're in their element here. Someone's ready to move on. Again, with the new energy, makes sense, right? Yeah, an understanding. There's a fully conscious understanding now and it's like they they know they can understand how this is all working now it's like they know that they have to move forward otherwise it's like we're, we're not really going anywhere with anything so someone's come into that awareness right last message please for this any other messages yeah so we've got forgiveness. So it could be that something's coming to someone's attention and they've had to forgive that and move on, which they will do. But th there is a new path here of forgiveness and understanding. And there's a purification here. So someone has reached a point where they've healed enough where their light element is. There's a purification that's going on. 
to the point where they, they're no longer in that darker energy. And so that that polarization, that tipping point, it's like they've alchemized it. So they're more high vibrational, which means there's no longer that darker energy can't reach them because they've, they've kind of leveled up to that certain point. Now they've leveled up. It can't, if you're not on the, that matching vibration, it can't reach you wonders and purification. So someone's reached a certain point. Someone has reached a certain point here where they're ready is what I'm hearing. It's like we're ready to go with this now. But it feels like an awakening that someone is really stepping into their own with. Show me any other messages, please, for this. Any other cards for this message, please? Wow. Breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. This was somebody's will, divine will. That's they've create they've manifested it. Yeah, this is it's like someone's found their voice. Someone found their voice. That's how I want to say it. Someone found their voice. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. So it's like they've leveled up to a point. Let's say, for example, this was always that problem of like, you know, because we do, we have like similar people we're attracted to. And then when we level up, it's like we grow out of those people. But somebody here has grown to a point where they're no longer resonating on the same vibration. And so because of that, they've kind of unlocked a new path. They've gone on to that new path, but they've disconnected the old path because it was just such a polarised energy. And then because of that, they're free to go on their path, but they've opened up so many other opportunities here. I want to get more on this energy, though, because I feel like, yeah, look, growth and balance. So someone's come into a balance here. Anything else? Yeah, it's like before they they felt bad about having to sort of grow away from people or now it's like they understand that it's not personal. They're not, it's like it doesn't need to be taken personally. It's just, it is. It's just the way it goes. It's like someone's come to an understanding of that and how, and, and to articulate it in a way that is understandable. And so it's done. It's like the tipping point has been reached. It's over. Anything else? Yeah, look. So there's become, there's an awareness here that's been brought into the forefront and that's helped this person. There's also encouragement from others that has helped this person to kind of reach that energy. But there is definitely, um, yeah, there's an energy here of someone feeling a lot more confident with their in, with their kind of choices, let's say. Um, let's get one more. One more, please, for this. One more. Okay, anything else? One more. And it says, be supportive. Make genuine effort to show you care. Okay. And so, yeah, so if you're in this situation, you're going to receive that support. If you're, if this is someone around you, you're going to need to support them. Um, and listen with your heart. You're listening, but need to hear with a loving heart. So, yeah, there's going to be a call to action on a new path for somebody. And you're going to need to lead by example. And it's going to be a loving response that is needed. That is being asked of you, basically. Um Or oh, that's what spirit would like to see at least. Okay, I'm trying to see what else I can... What cards do I want to... Opportunity and change, signs and reminders and take, take charge and action. So someone is about to take charge in this situation. Okay, anything else? Anything else for this? Something about prosperity here. 
news there's a new there's news coming here and somebody is stepping away from more low vibrational energy which i said before anything else for this chain of events that that will affect your life so this is a really big decision whoever's making this decision and it's it might create a bit of discord but it's like it's 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 meaning to it it needs to basically um right Yeah, someone is cut, is healing the more feminine element. Someone is stepping more into their masculine, someone's stepping more into their feminine. And it's great. Yeah, do not fear the unknown. So there's a fear that's being released here and an integration that's taking place. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Thank you for your likes, your shares and your subscriptions. It means a lot to me. Until next time, take care.